to Stories and Songs of America's Folk Heroes. I'm Liz Stevenson. And I'm Julie Schlosser. And this week, we will be talking about one of America's heroes from the Revolutionary War, Molly Pitcher, who most people believe to be inspired by the real person, Mary Ludwig Hayes. Molly Pitcher traveled with her husband, a soldier in the Revolutionary War, from their home in Carlisle, PA, to Valley Forge, and then later to New Jersey. There, her husband fought the British soldiers at the Battle of Monmouth in 1778. During the battle, Molly rushed back and forth to where there was a cool stream, carrying pitcher after pitcher of water to the soldiers on the battlefield. They were given that to drink, but also they used the water to pour over the cannons to cool them off. According to the legend, on one of her water trips, Molly Pitcher saw her husband collapse beside the cannon he was manning, and she stepped up to take his place in the fight. She continued to man the weapon through the rest of the battle until the colonists pushed back the British soldiers and won. Some records of the battle mention that during the fighting, a cannon shot by the enemy soared right at Molly Pitcher, but it didn't damage anything besides her dress. After the battle, she was praised by George Washington and given the nickname Captain Molly, as well as Molly Pitcher. While most people consider Hayes to be the inspiration for the Molly Pitcher legend, there were several other women at the time who also bravely and notably fought alongside the men during the Revolutionary War. The legend of Molly Pitcher may be a combination of multiple true stories of early American heroines, including Mary Ludwig Hayes, Margaret Corbin, Deborah Sampson, and other unnamed women who fought in the war. Next, we'll teach you a song about Molly Pitcher. As I stood by the battleground with my husband there, my darling is a soldier. He fights for true and fair. We have joined the Patriots, whatever he we stand. I bring water to the soldiers, my pitcher in my hand. Pitcher Molly, pitcher, the soldiers did cry. As Molly ran with water, the musket balls did fly. Oh, Molly, pitcher, Molly, that's how you got your name. Oh, Molly, 
The legend of Molly Pitcher starts with the story of a woman carrying water on the battlefield. The instruments that we're going to make today use water to make music. The first one is one of my favorites, and it's because you can do it anytime, any place. All you need is a bottle, like the kind maybe one of your drinks comes in. It's called a bottle flute, and all you need to do to play this instrument is just like a regular flute, blow air not into the bottle, but across the opening, just like this. Pretty cool and easy to do. I wonder what will happen if I empty out some of the water from my bottle. So right now the water is about, whoop, it's about this high. I'm gonna dump some of it out. And now the water is, oh, it's down to here. Let's listen. Oh, it changed when the water inside got lower. I'm gonna dump out even more and see what happens this time. Now I've only got that much in there. Let's see. Very cool, the water changed the way our bottle flute sounded. This is one that I was using that's made of plastic. I also have this glass bottle along with me today. Let's hear how this one sounds. It's got kind of a fuller sound. So that's a cool instrument that you can do any place, a bottle flute. Whenever you've got a bottle, you can just You can also use water to make what's called a water xylophone. Here I've got a cup, just like a normal cup that you might have in your kitchen, and I filled it with a little bit of water. It looks red because I added food coloring so we could see the water levels, but it's just water in there. Let's listen to what happens when I tap the side of my cup with a spoon. It's got a pretty good sound. Now that's what it sounds like with just that much water in it. That's our red one. But I've also got this green and some blue and some yellow. So do you remember how when we were doing our bottle flute, the amount of water that was inside the bottle made the different notes sound? Let's test out our red green, blue, and yellow to hear how they sound. Oh, the different heights of water made different sounds. And that's what makes our water xylophone with lots of different notes. You can use food coloring to make it a little bit extra fun or you could just use regular clear water. And you can make up your own songs with the xylophone. You can even try to play familiar songs that you might know, like this one. See if you can tell what song this is. Did you get it? Let's listen again. It was happy birthday to Pretty cool. I wonder what songs you'll make with your water xylophone at home. Take a video or take a picture to let us see you playing your water xylophone or your bottle flute <laughs> at your house. Thanks for watching. The theme for this year's summer reading is Imagine Your Story. So we would like for you to imagine how you could retell the story of Molly Pitcher. I've started a song with some blanks that you can help me fill in. So think back to her story and see if you can remember some important details so that you can retell it with me. So when you come up with some ideas, you could email them to Blossburg Memorial Library or even post a video of you singing the song to their Facebook page. Let's give it a try.
Mary's husband was a in the war. Mary's husband was a in the war. Mary with her husband to many different battles. Mary's husband was a in the war. The were blazing at the we're blazing at the soldiers were very so Mary went in a hurry and brought to drink and cool the then Mary's husband and couldn't fight then Mary's husband and couldn't fight but Mary put on a brave face and in his place when her husband in battle and then they called her or then they called her or and in Carlisle PA there's a monument today to honor all right can't wait to see your ideas thanks for joining us again today and coming to learn about molly pitcher if you enjoyed learning about her you can want to know more about her story or the revolutionary war or other famous women in america's history be sure to check out a book from the blossberg library hope to see you next week bye, bye.